I love The Sims. The storytelling, the creativity, the chaos. But once I discovered mods and custom content, I've never looked back. Whether you're brand new to The Sims 4 or just getting started with mods, this video will walk you through exactly how to install them step by step. I'll be downloading a few different types of mods as examples, but no, the same steps apply to all mods and custom content. So let's get started. So the first step is to make sure you have mods enabled in your game. Before you download anything, open up The Sims 4, click on the Options menu, Game Options, navigate to the Other tab, and check the boxes Enable Custom Content and Mods, and Script Mods Allowed. Click Apply Changes, and then restart your game for the settings to take effect. Step 2. Downloading your selected mods or custom content. There's a lot of incredible mod creators out there. I'll link some recommendations below. Once you've found the custom content you want, download the file. To show you how it works, let's start with Twisted Mexi's No Weather Build By Mod. When I click the link, it takes me to his Patreon. After locating the file, clicking starts the download immediately. It'll usually end up in your downloads folder. In my downloads folder, it shows up as a TS4 script file. If it's already in its package or TS4 script form, you're good to go. No further action is required. Here's another example, this time on Clumsy Aliens Patreon. I'm downloading their Atlas Top. Once I click the file, it downloads straight to my folder as a package file. Again, no extra steps needed. Finally, here's the homepage for MC Command Center. On the downloads page, it lets me know the latest version of the mod has been updated for the most recent Sims 4 patch, which means it's safe to use. To download, I click the title under release. This time, I received a notification. Suspicious download blocked, but I've been using MC Command Center for years and I've never had a problem. To bypass this, click the download and select Download Suspicious File. This time, it arrives as a zip file, so I need to extract it before adding it to my mods folder. To do so, right click and select Extract All. Alternatively, you can use a program like 7-Zip or WinRAR. Once extracted, you can delete the original zip file to save space. Something to note, you should only extract package, TS4 script, and the occasional text files to your mods folder. Do not include PDFs or licensed files. Step three is to locate your mods folder. To do so, open documents, go to electronic arts, the Sims 4, and then Mods. If there's no Mods folder, don't worry. Just launch the game once and it will automatically generate one. Inside the Mods folder, you'll see a file called resource.cfg. You can just leave this. It helps the game read mods and custom content. If it's missing, the game will recreate it when you launch. Step 4, we're going to place our downloaded files. So you can drag or cut the correct files into your mods folder directly. You can also customize your custom content into subfolders. But here's a key rule. Package files, which are used for create a sim or build by content, can be placed into subfolders as deep as you want. TS4 script files, like MC Command Center or Twisted Mexi's No Weather Build By, must be no more than one folder deep. For example, a common mistake is creating extra folders inside the mods folder, like one for custom content and the other for mods. Putting your package files in one and your TS4 scripts in the other. When we open the mods folder, we can see Twisted Mexi script file just fine. So it will work, but MC Command Center is buried inside a second folder. Therefore, the game won't recognize it and the mod won't function. To fix this, move MC Command Center back into the main mods folder. My recommendation is when TS4 script mods come with folders like this, keep them as they are. It ensures the mod is organized and easy to manage in the future. On the flip side, for package files, there is literally no limit. So if I wanted to paste this atlas top under custom content, 
cast items, style, feminine, tops, there would be no issue. Now to our last step, launch The Sims 4 and check for mods. If you enabled mods in step one, you'll see a mods list pop up when the game loads, showing all installed mods. If the pop-up doesn't show up automatically, go back to the menu, Game Options, Other, and click View Custom Content. Here, it'll show you everything that you have installed for your game. And you have the ability to toggle this pop-up at startup. If you don't want it to show up, just uncheck the box. Something to keep in mind, mods can break after Sims 4 patch updates. Always check to ensure your mods are compatible with the latest game version. Look for the mod's last updated date and follow the mod creator on social media or their respective websites. Another great tip, on patch days, always back up your save files. To do this, go to your documents folder, Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, Saves, Select your save files, right click or control C for copy, create a new folder somewhere on your computer, whether it be your desktop or within the documents folder itself, and paste your saves. This way, if there's any problems with the patch update or broken mods and custom content as a result, these copied save files won't be affected. And with that, you did it. You've officially installed mods and custom content into The Sims 4. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please give it a like and subscribe. I post Sims 4 storylines, experiments, challenges, and more. So, thanks for watching, and until next time, bye for now.